ahead of the storm because they anticipated. Whoa. Oh, there it goes. Oh my goodness. Nova Scotia Power says trees coming into contact with power lines is one of the main causes of power outages. They've now partnered with a company called AI Dash that specializes in analyzing high resolution images and applying algorithms to provide a detailed look at problem areas. There are 28,000 kilometers of power lines across Nova Scotia and having the AI technology will allow the power company to use the satellite image to narrow in on individual communities and feeders. It's part of a one $1.3 billion investment in the power system over five years, with the tree trimming investment alone at $45 million a year. There's that balance that we have to strike between utilities, uh, reliability, and the benefits that trees do bring to the communities. Through the new technology, segments of the power lines are color-coded based on their condition, which is rated on a scale of one to five based on how close trees are to the lines. Right now, it's all about the proximity of vegetation to conductors, but weather data could also be added. They do have uh, storm modeling that they can incorporate into, into this um, strategy as well, but we didn't embark on that just yet. I think we wanted to uh, test the waters, see how the proximity data would work and combine it with what our existing technologies allow us to do. The hope is the detailed snapshot will allow them to be more efficient in allocating resources where they're needed most, cutting the need to patrol the entire province by vehicle.